summer has officially come to an end and although I am sad about it because I do love summer, I can't stress how excited I am about this new season that is approaching, especially with it being fall. I feel like fall has always been super nostalgic for me, not just the weather, but Halloween is in October, my birthday is in October, Thanksgiving, I love all the fall holidays, so I am really looking forward to this. I also feel like new seasons are a fresh start for everybody. I think us as humans, we tend to get really hung up on the things that maybe we didn't accomplish during the previous season or the things that we didn't get to do or things that we should have done. And I feel like it's important to give ourselves a little bit more credit with the things that we did end up doing and be appreciative for those times that we had. Being said, I actually ended up doing a lot of things this summer, more than I ever expected to, which I'm super appreciative about. I saw so many new and beautiful places. I went to Europe not once, but twice. Spent so much time with family, made amends and got closure from people of my past, and also let myself introduce new people into my life and ended up getting really close with them, which is a great gift. I feel like this upcoming fall and new season, I definitely want to make myself more aware of all the good things that I have in my life and not just good things, good people, and the people that make me appreciate the little things in life and fill my cup in ways that I feel like it needs to be filled, especially by the people that I'm closest with. Overall, I'm really excited to introduce this new season and I'm definitely looking forward to all the great things the universe is about to bring into my life and I wish the same for you guys as well. today get them updated because since I moved to New York City and for like the last eight months that I was living in Arizona I didn't have any updated digitals so I'm gonna go take them today and I'm really excited but I thought I would show you guys what I take in my little model bag um, this is just for digitals so it's not too crazy but I thought I would show you guys what I have in here so obviously my brush that has so much hair sticking out of it that i have to take out <laughs> this little bag it has some of my simple necessities obviously deodorant can't go without that in new york city in the summertime <laughs> my little jill malone perfume smells so good what is this english pear and Frasia. it is such a good Perfume smells amazing. My Mario Badescu little hydration spray. Um, my Kenra moisturizing oil for in case I have like frizzy hair because I have to drive 30 minutes. Well, take a taxi, 30 minutes. And then my Argan 100 um, Italian Argan oil, which is so good to just put on your chest and body to make sure you don't have any dry spots. 10 out of 10. And I just keep it in this little bag. Then my water, of course. Some snacks for the way back. This is just seaweed and honey roasted peanuts. I love these two things. A lot of people don't like seaweed and I remember when I was in high school, I would see people who brought seaweed just like this to snack on and I'd be like, ooh, don't knock it till you try it. That is what I like to say. And then in this little pouch, I have my little mirror, <laughs> an eyelash curler to recurl my eyelashes. I don't have mascara on right now. It's just literally my lashes are just curled. Um, a little Lancome Serum Concealer in my summer shade, just to touch up anything. Um, I don't have too much of it on, just under my eyes and then on little blemishes. And then my Rose Atlantic chapstick. I love this chapstick, it's so good. Aquaphor, of course, because sometimes I like to put it on my eyebrows, it just smooths things out. And then a little brush to blend out my concealer if I don't wanna use my hand. So that is pretty much everything that I take in this bag. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna 
going to go take my digitals. I will film some of it for you guys. And yeah, so we will see how it goes. <laughs> always so hard for me to get my part in the center i feel like i feel like even when i think i got it okay um i'm just gonna go with that because i normally for the gym just put my hair in a low bun because I hate when like the ponytail part of my hair is like sticking to my back it like bothers me so I always put the remainder of the ponytail into a bun I feel like it's just the best obviously when I lay down and I do crunches it doesn't feel that comfortable but it's only for a few minutes so it's okay that is not even oh my god give me a second I usually just put some hairspray in my hair because I have layers in my hair so sometimes they fall out while I'm working out. But this stuff is so good if you are looking for a good hairspray that also gives volume if you need it to. Kenra has an amazing one. It's a volumizing and finishing spray so it's really good. My hair, wrap it as tight as I can and kind of tuck in that end piece and then I take whatever hair tie I can find because I don't know where all of them are going. I take it and that is the hair. Rise and shine. Good morning everybody. It is day one of my 75 hard challenge. I was gonna go get a green juice, but I think I'm just gonna wait. I might go to the coffee shop later and literally just get like a water. <laughs> but I wanna like be able to sit somewhere and do my work. So I'm gonna make some eggs with feta and cut up a cucumber and avocado and make a hash brown with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I made my breakfast. 
Um, I just have to put some balsamic glaze on my cucumbers. I'm eating the leftover cucumbers with this balsamic glaze. Oh my God, like so good. I also put a little bit of lemon juice on them as well. guys so I'm currently recording on my phone because I forgot my camera but I came to the cafe and I got a matcha with vanilla and oat milk and a pistachio chocolate croissant so I'm gonna journal and then today I need to go to the sports store because I'm picking up boxing gloves because I signed up for a membership at Rumble so I would rather have my own boxing gloves than use boxing gloves that other people use because I think that's a little weird. So that's what I'm going to do today and then I have a class at 4.30 and yeah, so I'm going to sit here and enjoy some time to myself and then take you guys to the sports store with me. I'm walking to the sports store. I did want to update you guys. So I have been working for some time on my designs for my swimsuit brand. And I think I found a place that could potentially manufacture them. So we will see how that goes. But yeah, I'm walking to the sports store and I'm gonna go get some boxing gloves. It's so hard to talk in this microphone when I have stuff in my hands, but I got them. Bag secured. So we're going to go home and then my class today is at 4.30. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, so cute. This oh my is, gosh. We're back at this again. We're Remember? back at it again. Because I took a picture last time so I can do the same thing. It's actually really cute. Yeah, I'm Matthew. 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 I'm Matthew
United Park members have received priority boarding benefits will be Today was a good day. I went to the gym in the morning. I journaled, did my little routine, and then I went for a boxing class today, which was amazing at Rumble Boxing, 10 out of 10. And now I'm making some barbecue chickpeas. I'm going to show you guys how to make these. Um, I just dump out the chickpeas, strain them and wash them with like water because I don't like the like sticky stuff on the chickpeas. I'm going to open another can, but put them in a bowl and then salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder them, toss them on a tray, 15 minutes in the oven, take them out, toss them in buffalo sauce. I mean, buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce or whatever sauce you like and then pop them back in the oven for five minutes. My cat is trying to eat them. <coughs> I'm joking. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty good day. I just didn't film any of it because honestly, it's kind of hard filming like at the gym. I just need to focus, but yeah. So let's make some chickpeas. I usually throw these in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. Like how that works. It's crazy. Crazy how that works. Good morning guys. So today is a very exciting day because I'm going back to Europe. I don't know why I just said that. Back to Europe. I'm so excited. If you guys didn't know, I am half Hungarian. My mom is from Hungary. So I hold dual citizenship between Hungary and the US, which is amazing. We are going back today and I am so excited. I'm gonna be visiting some family and friends there and truly can't wait. I probably haven't been back to Hungary in like eight years, maybe more. So I am very excited. And yeah, I have to get packing because my Uber is coming at three and it's currently 10 and I still have to pack and get ready and everything. So gonna take you guys along with me and yeah, I'm so excited. Let's get ready to go back to Europe. Hi guys. Hopefully you can hear me. When I'm on the plane, I actually got first class, so so fancy. And I looked at the menu and the food actually looks really good. But I have a six hour flight into London and then from London I'm gonna fly to Budapest and see my friends. So I'm so excited. Um yeah. Cheers to cheers to first class, cheers to going to Europe. Again,
Hello, beautiful people. So if you made it to the end of this video, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I thought that I would do a little recap of just some of the main points in this video because it was about two months, almost three months worth of just kind of my key moments that I ended up filming. And yeah, so obviously summer is over actually yesterday was the first official day of fall so i'm so excited to get into this new season i had a great summer i absolutely loved it it was actually my first summer in new york city i did go to europe again i went to budapest and ended up going to italy to see an ex-boyfriend um, and that was a complete bust. It was a really fun trip, but afterwards, like, just didn't work out. <laughs> but I flew from JFK to London, London to Budapest, and then three hours drove to Sigatvar, which is a town that my mom was born in, and my grandma, and my uncle. So I have so many family and friends from there. I spent about a week there getting to go see my grandma's grave where she was buried caught up with some friends and it was a great time i absolutely loved it and then i flew from budapest to trieste that all in all aside from everything that happened afterwards it was an amazing trip i absolutely loved trieste probably one of my favorite spots in italy a hundred percent um and yeah, I had a great trip, but that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> and then I flew from Trieste back to Budapest and then drove to Boletin Boglar, which is a lake town in Hungary. I met up with a lot of other family there. I spent about another week. It was one of the best times I've ever had in my entire life. I truly love being around family. I feel like it's so underrated, especially in your 20s. You know, you want to be around your friends, you want to have a good time, but you can also have a really good time with family, and I feel like a lot of people forget that. So that whole trip, all in all, was just very freeing for me. It was really refreshing. I feel like it kind of got my mind back into a good headspace because I have been struggling adjusting to life in New York City, that is for sure. I haven't opened up about it as much as I would like to. Maybe I'll do a video about just adjusting to life in a new city, especially across the country, but it was great all in all. And yeah, I have just really prioritized not just hanging out with like myself, but hanging out with people that fill my cup. So not really paying too much attention into the people that don't give me anything back. I naturally am just a giver. I will give things to people even when they don't deserve it, whether that's energy, time, material things. Like, that's just how I've always been. So, coming into fall, that is something that I do want to work on. It is a new season, so I definitely want to start fresh. And yeah, but what else did I do? Oh, I went to San Diego and visited some family there i have three nieces and two nephews so it was really nice to see them it's a bit crazy over there so i can only go once in a while because i need a whole recouping period after that but i saw my brother and my sister-in-law so it was really great got to have in and out because if you guys don't know in and out is only in texas and like on the west coast and i live on the east coast now and i used to eat in and out all the time but my skin and my hair is not really doing too good right now. I feel like one that has to do with the weather right now is just awful. And two, I feel like my hormones are just at a complete imbalance right now. So that's kind of sucky, but we're working through it. And oh, I also got two new tattoos. One on my neck, which says divine. And then one on my hands if you guys can see that it says per sempre which is forever in italian but yeah overall 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do want to get better at filming and being more consistent with YouTube, so that is something that I definitely will be working towards. But happy fall, and hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!